What's going on, Bird Gang? Alan here with Parrots and Co. Let's talk about cage aggression with your parrot and how to deal with it. I know this is an annoying, painful sometimes subject to talk about when it comes to interacting with your parrot and you're just trying to figure out, you know, why is little Skittles being so mean to me when I go to change out its food bowl or grab its toys or interact with it in the cage? Why is he so aggressive, right? And this is a great topic of conversation that we can discuss right now. So first things first, let's talk about why it happens in the first place. And the reality is that usually it happens, well, before we talk about that, let's talk about what the nature of sometimes parrots are in the wild. And remember, they're not domesticated, so it's not like a cat or a dog where they aim to please you. They're very much undomesticated animals, and that's part of why they're so misunderstood. So when a parrot acts aggressive in its cage, or it lunges, or it's acting a certain way that's not desired where you, you probably think that you're gonna get bit, it's usually because parrots in the wild, um, they will fend off other parrots from their nest site, from their mate, and they basically form a bond with another parrot, basically for life. And in this process, parrots are out in the wild rummaging, foraging, flying to different areas in search for food, and resources are scarce. So when you do have resources, AKA your toys that you take ownership of, your cage, your food that you have, you or parrots have this instinct that kicks in to protect that stuff. And it's not with every parrot, and it's stronger with other parrots, but that's part of the reason why they are aggressive in their cage. It's because they don't want you in their space and they're saying, this is my space, this is my food, this is my toys, I'm here to protect it. And they probably just think that you're there to take it away or you're gonna mess with it. And they don't like that. So they let you know and they let you have a piece of their mind, right? Um, another thing that you want to look at is, you know, is it springtime, beginning of summer, you know, right around that area? Because if it is, sometimes the aggression is something that comes out as a response to the time of the year or what we call, you know, hormone season where parrots naturally are a little bit more aggressive. They start nesting, they start protecting their environment a little bit more. It happens every year with Alfie where I'm hanging out with him. I'm like, hey, what's up, Alfie? I'm on my computer doing my thing. And I look over at him and he gets all fluffy and he's like, what you looking at, human? This is my house. Don't I don't want you to look at me. And he gets all puffy and aggressive and I know Especially when it's spring, I was like, oh, Alfie's you know, having a fit. He needs a moment right now, you know. It's that time of the year for him. Um, so I'm just going to let him be, and I just kind of ignore him. But another trick that you can try to getting uh, or interacting with an aggressive parrot in the cage, if, for example, you just have to reach in, change its food, or grab its toys, or, you know, put your hand in that cage to do something. What I like to do with Alfie, and I've done this with my girlfriend, is I'll have her... Um, if he's ever aggressive with her or myself, hormone season, or he's just having a bad day, is I'll have him target to the top of his little nest area. It's not really a nest, it's more like a wooden perch where he sleeps, but I call it the nest. I'll have him target up there, come over, touch the target stick, click, reward, and in exchange for him coming up there, I give him a nice juicy treat, and then I will go in and change out his food bowl or his toys or my girlfriend will do that or if somebody else is taking care of him just to kind of play it on the safe side. Come on. You're smart. I know you're smart, Elfie. Good bird. And he kind of just starts to learn like, oh, when people come in to touch my things, it's not because they're taking it away. Um, as a result, when people come in to touch my things, I end up getting a reward. So then your parrot kind of learns, oh yeah, just kind of move out of the way or come up in this area uh, instead of coming over to attack human's hand when it's messing with my food bowl or my toys. So this is something that I've done with Alfie in the past uh, when he was a little bit more aggressive in the beginning and he wasn't very as familiar with me. and. Um, these are some of the things that I did and I still do now in case he has those fits to really just get him to get out of the way more than me have to having to physically 
combat him or like not even combat him but instead of putting myself in a situation where I can get bit or promote biting behavior which is what we want to avoid altogether so I'm all about prevention and if you can just prevent it from happening altogether target him to an area of the cage here's a reward have fun enjoy enjoying that treat while you're enjoying that I'm gonna go do this this and that and boom that's another quick tip that you can implement to get your aggressive you know parrot out of the way when you're interacting with it right another great thing that I do to promote uh, less cage aggression with my parrot is to essentially not give him a reason to want to be aggressive and I try to promote our relationship and, and interactions as positive um, as positive and keep it positive as much as possible or basically all the time and the reason why is because you know if a parrot likes you and it learns that other people that come into its space um, other people that interact with it or even in its cage don't mean harm and instead they're getting positive rewards or positive reinforcement from interacting with Alfie, for example, in its cage, your bird quickly starts to learn, you know, when people come around, usually, you know, good things happen. I'm gonna get a reward. They're gonna give me lubbies or scratches through the cage, or humans are here to come get me out of the cage and hang out with them. And it's all things that Elfie likes to do and Elfie really enjoys. So that's part of the reason why I always try to lead with positivity and positive reinforcement. A lot of these times, this cage aggression sometimes will be in the initial stages of the relationship you're gonna have with your bird. Or if it's just something that's ongoing altogether, what I always recommend in addition to strategies and tactics to get your bird out of the way and pre prevent it from being aggressive is to just work on your relationship with your bird and making sure that um, it's positive and, and over time it's getting better and better. You know, a couple of things that Elfie loves to do where, you know, we have bond building, you know, exercises, so to speak, is, you know, I'll, I'll take him out of the cage and we'll focus, you know, a day where we have training sessions and all we're doing is tricks. He loves doing tricks. He loves playing basketball, um, shooting hoops. He likes to go bowling. He loves performing tricks in exchange for rewards because it's something that is meant to sim mentally stimulating for him and we get to bond and he gets to you know earn treats and we work on a relationship that way so that's um part of what we do to build that you know positive relationship with elfie and that overall when you have a bird that likes you and it's happy and it interacts well with other people in your household too there that reduces the probability of cage aggression but yeah that's it for this quick video guys on you know some tips to deal with cage aggression and if you guys haven't looked into it as well um, what i would recommend is to always make sure that the place you start when taming and training your parrot and reducing aggression is with the proper intrinsic motivation meaning that the birds internal needs are met which is things like safety the proper diet um, proper motivation in terms of when you feed it and how much you feed it um, so that it is just in a well-balanced place and you just greatly reduce the ability of a bear, of a parrot acting cranky or acting aggressive because of what it eats and how much it sleeps. Anyway, with that being said, I have a free guide in the description section below that you can download. It's a how-to guide on uh, parrot motivation, uh, feeding, nutrition, and just getting your parrot um, in a position to want to train and making sure those basic needs are taken care of and sometimes it just comes down to your parrot just needed to have more sleep and it needed to have a better quality diet and that in itself reduced the aggressiveness and how the parrot was acting toward you right so let's give that a try that's a free download in the description section below thank you guys and we will see you guys next time bird gang Alfie and I signing out for today can you flip Oh, good bird. You're still chewing. Look at that. You haven't even finished your other snack. <laughs>